Hey everyone, we're going to get another day of the boot camp prep kicked off. Um, to begin with, we're going to be looking at taking all our all the wood and stuff that we've been cutting up and getting some colours and stuff done on that. I've seen some lots of comments and things about it, but I'm going to go brute force because it's nice and sunny here today. I'm going to use spray cans because when you're doing a project like this, you have lots of little spray cans that are like half done or a quarter done or something like that sitting around. So what you'll see here is this pile has been sprayed leather brown from the army painter. This pile is also leather brown, slightly different in so much as I am now spreading it out. So it goes through a wee mix in here and then it gets spread out. So we'll do the mix, all right? This one I'm doing as fur brown. And then I'm gonna dust over that leather brown because I thought it might be nice to have differences in the wood rather than everything just being the same. Uh, there'll probably be another step where we spray it with black. In fact, I'll probably do some of that. Um, to make it look like charred wood. But I'm trying to get the colour down so I'm not just going black. Another thing we could use is we could probably use some of those sprays and stuff we were using the other day, the... Model Mates. The, the Model Mates one. Thank you very much, Justin. Right, so, to do that, hold on. Let me start a new batch. Tell you what, I'll dump this batch out. I can turn it through that. Come back to that. So we've got about what? About a handful, handful and a half going in here. Okay, there we go. So we shake. I'm going to take uh, a fur bro. Oh, an overhead shot, nice. Just gonna give that a dusting. Like that, that's a very bright color, okay? Hence why I go over it again with a bit of leather brush. Start the rattling. There isn't very much of the leather brown left, so part of that is get colour down using the fur brown and then knock it back with the leather brown. Just do that. Run again. Give it a good coat. A little bit dust. Do it again. We dust. Do it again and so on and so on and so on. It doesn't take that long. And then as things start to stick to the sides, just knock them back off into the main mix. Okay? So, I've been doing that on these other two piles. So this one is done, you know, there's not very much, there's a little bit of color here or there, but not very much, it's pretty, it's pretty solid as I try to pick a bit out, there we go. Right, this bit I've laid out, okay, so you just back off a wee bit, lay out, see bits that aren't quite done, and I'm just aiming at those little short bursts, doesn't matter if you lose a wee bit here or there when it blows it on, like that. I'm gonna move it around a bit. There's some more bits. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna scoop it over there to dry up. There's a wee bit. Right, let's bring over, not this version, but let's let's work on this one that's what we're doing. So this is what it's like when you first dump it out. Come on over. I think you can get it. I think you can get it. I'll just show it. So you spread it out like that. See all these wee bits? That's what we're going to hit. Let me get the fur brown. Just going to dust over it. Not everything has to be, you know, the same level of colour because you want some variation like the stuff's been blown out of a building, been on fire, it's all mixed up. Okay, that's that. It's pretty good, there's a bit. Again I'm gonna give it a wee dust with the other brown. Is that leather brown? Nope, that's black brown. <laughs> there we go, leather brown. There we go. Um, I'm gonna get my wee stick because it's kind of a little bit on the wet side. 
let's go and move it around and repeat the process on anywhere that's sticking out. You know, after a few minutes you'll get there, it'll be done. The main thing about doing with the spray cans is if you have leftovers, uh, doing with the spray cans, it'll dry out real quick. So we're not waiting on dyes and things. Okay, now, I'll probably come back to that, but I'll leave that to dry. Also, while we're out here, I'm going to make some dust. Um, in the other vlog, we talked about making dust for and around the f red brick factories. So I have oh, some sand here. I don't think it matters if there's little bits and stuff in it. You, you got a nice close up? Just going to take, what have I got? I've got a red primer from Halford. A nice big one. Just going to do this. Right, the sand will start to clump up. Can you see me clumps? Don't worry about that. Just, just spread it around like that. Because as it dries out, the clumps, just like wet sand, it'll just separate back out again. Maybe you get pigment powders or something for this, but you know, we have a lot of sand, we have some spray cans to kick it around. So I'm just going to take a bit of time. I just fill it with some strong colour. If you're doing less tables, you don't have to be as ambitious as this. And then the colour will come great. See there? See the way we're getting the colours on us? Alright, so I have that. I also have a darker one. A chaotic red here from Army Painter. That's a nice colour. Get that sprayed in. And I'm going to put a bit of black. A little black primer here somewhere. Yep, some leftover black. Put that in like that. That way you get, you get charred edges of the of dust and stuff that's gone in there. So the bricks have gone poof. A little bits of burnt and other bits have just spread about. So I'm just going to keep doing this and then we'll come back and show you what it turned out like. Everybody, we're back for another part of the boot camp prep here. So right now we are working on Warren's Castle. Now, we've run ahead with this one a little bit, but what we've done is, so we've primed in desert yellow first, and then we've dry brushed the drake tooth over the top. And now I passed it across to Martin and Jerry to actually start getting the wash down on it. Send help. <laughs> it was better than digging the latrines, which was one of the uh, one of the options I had. So this is good. Yeah. Well, I mean, like it does look nice whenever you get the the wash down on it. It just starts to blend everything together. I mean, like if you have a, a close look, you'll see whenever we go from that to that, it's pretty extreme the color difference. But then whenever we add in the wash, it just blends everything down really nicely. So that's what we're up to at the moment. I this didn't even know I had children today. to be kidnapped. You what? <laughs> Sorry, are we doing what now? Nothing, <laughs> carry on. I'm confused. Uh, tell you what, I'll let the guys push on with this and we will be back later. Right, while they're working on the castles, my sort of dusty brick sand stuff has been drying out, getting all lumpy. So. I'm just, I'm just bringing it in to do a bit of colour matching to see what it's like. So if I just sprinkle a little bit down, it's looking pretty good. But I'm thinking I'll maybe dust up with some more black to try and knock the overall brightness back down. Although it'd be pretty fresh brick dust that would explode. I'm thinking because it explodes in explosions, it might get a bit sort of burnt and stuff. So I'm probably going to knock that back with some black. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm, oh, almost dropped that. I'm going to start sieving it, try and get some of these lumps back out of it. Well, the easy thing to do is just do this. See all these lumps? You just do that. But I'm just going to run through the sieve because I don't want to be spraying this when it's in 
Hold on, there's got to be better ways to do this. Let me get a cup. My kingdom! My kingdom for a cup, Sam! Now nah, I got something to scoop it up with. Rather than, rather than just trying to dump the whole thing in. Okay. Put it in, sieve it on through. Just break it up. Jobs are good. Those bits can go in. I just don't want any of the any of these sort of lumpy things inside the mix. Right, give me a couple of minutes and I will finish that and we'll be right back. All right, so um, I've broken it all up. That's what it looks like now, nice and loose, which is great for spraying again. And I've taken half of what was in there and put it in my, my little spray tub. It's just a box that I cut up. I want to spread it out nice and flat. And I'm thinking about half of it because then it'll be easier to color and then I'll just mix it all back together. I'm just going to drop it in a box, come over. And just hit it with the black. Most of this isn't done outside, but you know, for this finishing bit, I'm just going to bring it in. Give it a shake. Bring that back out again. There we go. And it's just the same process. And I'm just going to keep adding that back into that. And I'll kind of just muck around with the two colors doing wee tests and stuff over by the buildings until I get what I think looks good. Right, see you in a bit. Okay, sunny outside, so we took the sand back out to dry some more, just spread it out. While that's happening, let's have a look at how the wood for the rubble mix has been turned out. This pile here is all leather brown. This pile here is the fur brown and the leather brown, so as we have two sort of distinct colors. I then took a, a pile of that, See the way that's this color here, over here, and sprayed it all like really heavily with black because I want it to look really charred. And it did the same here, that's why we have four different piles. What's probably gonna happen now is all the piles are getting mushed together and sprayed again. It, if, if you wanna just do this fast, just spray it all brown, mush together and spray some black on it. But I'm trying to get it that the planks and stuff and the beams all have maybe slightly different shades to it to add a bit of more interest. So I'm doing a wee bit of testing over here, see what it might look like. So if you come on around here, to where I am and look at this way. Here I've scattered some in amongst the buildings. This is the sort of thing we're going for. It's like wood that has exploded out of the attic spaces and stuff like that when the, when the shells have landed. Some of it is burnt, some of it is just blown clear and hasn't burnt. Um, obviously that looks a bit stark because they haven't all been mushed together and smushed, smushed? Smushed together and sprayed with black. I also have this which I haven't put in because I want to be able to bring the, separate the wood up again, but that'll be mixed in amongst it as well. So that's like the, the actual um, debris of building blocks and stuff that has been smashed out along with it. So it's not just the wood. Speaking of debris, on round here, the other sand still outside drying. This is the, the other red sand that we have for those buildings, but I'm going to put some bigger bits in amongst that. Warren had this bag the other day. This with his cork bag. I personally think that the scale's a little big. What do you think, John? A little big, so I've just been smushing that through through this sieve to try and scale it down. This is as much as I got <laughs> at the scale that I like, so I'm gonna put that in. But I wanna take this, see this battlefield uh, black, what is it, black battleground from Army Painter. So I'm gonna put that in. I'm gonna do the same thing of spraying this up, sort of shades of reds and stuff. And because it's already black, it's already going to have the charred stuff. So next time you see the sand mix, it'll have that stuff in it sprayed up, the other black stuff that's drying out, and this stuff. And then the next time you see the wood mix, it'll all be together and it'll have all been sprayed black. Not completely, because I want lots of different shades. I want some wood to look like it's really charred. Maybe some other bits got blown clear and they didn't char. So we'll see you again shortly. Hello. Yeah, so it's um, what is it, afternoon time now. You guys are still working on the castle, I see. It never ends. Still washing away. There's plenty of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Thankfully all work for 15 mil saga as well, so that's good. Double dunted. Excellent. Right, I've been working away 
most of the day, trying not to get sunburnt because it's glorious. Making rubble mixes, right? Let's start with let's start with how the the wood's turned out. Look at that! Look at my wood. Isn't it nice? I'll put my wood into this box just to keep it all nice and separate because I don't want anybody doing anything silly with it, like throwing extra bits of wood in that aren't actually cut to size. Martin, that would destroy our souls if other people started putting crap in here that isn't actually supposed to be in here. I think I would definitely cry. Yeah. That's my heart. That's my blood sweat and tears in there. So if you want to keep your wood good, put it in a box and keep it out of the way. You'll also find there's some dust and stuff in here. We'll probably want to reuse some of this wood in amongst the brick dust and stuff at the factories. If that is the case, we just drop it into a sieve. Sieve the little bits through, no problem at all. Right. The brick dust. Here is the brick dust. Look at that. Nice and dusty. That's turned out really nice. And then the other larger stuff that I was working on is in here. I haven't put them together yet. That's it there. Now, mostly that's chaotic red from Army Painter. Because that actually turned out if you come on over here. <laughs> Will you stop moving the bloody box? Look how close that is to that. Zoom in really close, lads. It worked for me. Army Painter chaotic red. Isn't that really cool? Right, I'm going to stuff it all in one box though. You ready for this? The transformation bit? Let's see. There it goes. Swish it all about. Ah, oh, finally. I think that would do. I had lots of little shades. Ah, there's a few little white bits here or there, but let's not worry about that. Got nice different sizes to it in the ring. Oh, <laughs> Right, I'm gonna leave it at that. We're gonna go talk to Justin, but I'm not gonna do any more, any more stuff with um, rubble mixes and stuff till closer to the boot camp. We might make some adjustments and stuff. Don't know, actually. Still doing buildings. Yep. Still doing buildings. Yeah, I've got like another 18 I'm printing for you, John, just so you know. Uh huh. Look at that. Sanders little elves. At least, at least they're cute little buildings. Yeah. Sanders little elves wouldn't be able to paint faster than that. Do you know what you need, John? You need to grow a beard. That's what you need. I can't grow beards. Ah. Justin, what are you on, mate? I am building a bridge. Pegasus Bridge, huh? In 15 mil. We don't know if there's a hit a table or not, but you know, it came in from foreground, so we thought, do you know what? Let's build it. And if we get the chance to do a Pegasus Bridge table, we have it. And if yeah. we don't, we still have it. Well, let me let me just quickly throw this out on the sure, table here. For it, saga. So who else? Uh, this goes to this, this goes to here, yeah. uh, this, oh, if I don't break that off. Do you know what this looks like? It looks like Pegasus Bridge, strangely enough. So basically, the point I'm at at the minute is yeah. building the bridge itself. So this will eventually go into here, Yeah. and then we'll have this little house, which will go in to here. The, the so ballast. this is the, the control. Yeah. Where's the control thing, is it? Yeah, so I think, if I'm right, if I can... Oh, come on, come on. Come on around this way, Lance. So you oh. can actually see better what Justin's doing. No, I haven't figured out how this bit's meant to go in yet. So I'll just take it out of here. <laughs> but yeah, uh, one thing I did was, I actually counterbalanced it. So, it'll actually turn up and down when I'm done, if I build it right. Very delicate kit, not one for the faint of heart, I'm going to say. Sweet! And some more things from Foreground that come in. Yeah, I, I threw those together last night for us because I knew you'd want to do some tests. We so got, we've got some telegraph poles. Yeah. And but they're all stuck together. Oh, there we go. We've got some headstones as well. For the churches. Yes. Do you know what's good about... Ooh, do you know what's good about getting these, Justin? You can stick a 2P on them. Well, no. We had a load of these, but they're all grassed. Now yeah. we've got some new ones. These will sit nicely in the yeah, in the main uh, town. I think whenever I'm done, I should have 54 of them for you. Oh, 54 of them? Yeah. Or oh, I'm going to smash some of them too. Smash some of them for the rubble mix, man. Nope. <laughs> Telegraph pole. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill you quick. Don't do that. Right. I think we'll leave it there today. Come back and see what we get up to tomorrow.